There are some beautiful bags coming out in the fall, as there always are. And with fall comes new trends as well for bags. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the hottest bag trends for fall, according to Glamour Magazine. So we'll talk about whether or not I agree with them, not that it matters, but it's still gonna happen. And we're gonna talk about what I think about these bag trends. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Let's dive into the list. As always, article link down below for you to check out. And first bag trend we're going to discuss is dark cherry. We got a lot to say about this one. Dark cherry. I have one actually. And this was actually gifted to me from GG New York. This is real leather and it gives Bottega vibes. It's a gorgeous color. It actually goes with what I'm wearing now. Absolutely stunning, like a tote bag. Comes with a longer strap. I'll link this one down below for you too, but I love this. I love this color. It's a gorgeous hue, although very appropriate for fall. It works any time of year, in my opinion, and it's very wearable. It's like a neutral, but it has color. You know what I mean? But it doesn't give too much color, which works better for a lot of people. <laughs> I love color, but not everyone does. It does have gold hardware. So there are tons of different options out there, okay? And actually I might do a dark cherry. That's a good idea. I think I'm gonna do that. My favorite dark cherry bags. Let me add that to my list. Hold on a second. So of course they shared multiple options in here they have this bag from Ferragamo they have the JW Anderson which is divine with that gold oh my god JW Anderson is highly underrated okay they have some beautiful bags Gucci bag Fendi bag here Perenza schooler Kate Spade if you want you know more of a lower priced bag but still great quality Reformation Kuyana which is great I have a Kuyana well I had a Kuyana I think I might have sold it I had a couple in the past but I wasn't wearing them Everlane more Gucci, Menzer, Gabriel, Saint Laurent, so many different choices, okay? Gorgeous color, works with a variety of skin complexions, a variety of outfits. You can wear it as a pop of color if you're wearing neutrals. You can wear it as a neutral if you're wearing a bunch of colors. Look, you can pair it with mustard, you can pair it with yellow, you can pair it with white khaki, like an olive color would be pretty. You could pair it with beige, with ivory. It's so many different colors that this works with. Even light pink, if you want a monochromatic moment. Red even, I mean, it works with so much. It's a beautiful color to add to your wardrobe if you don't already have it. Next, studded bags. So I don't think I own any studded bags. I don't, surprisingly, because I actually love the look. I did talk about a Kate bag in the past. I believe is the Elena, possibly? It might be on this list. Yes, it's on the list, actually. So studded bags. And it don't have to be anything massive. Like they shared several options. They have this made wall tote that just has studs on the, the strap. They have the Rebecca Minkoff with studs along the side. There's this other brand that does studs. Okay, it's on the list. Okay, wow. So they have this bag from Isabel Morant with studs around the bottom. It doesn't have any have to be anything in your face. It just has to have the embellishments on it somewhere. So different price points on here. They have the Kate bag, which is a little pricier, which I love, 2800 they have the drop Hillary tote bag, which is cute. 50 bucks on Amazon. Tons of different options, okay? Tons of different options. I do like this trend, but I like it not so much with the tote style, like with the, like this, like I don't like stuff like this, like this tote from Mango here. I don't really like the Mango one. I just don't like the longer tote look. If that makes sense. That's not really my style. I'm okay with the hobo style, shoulder bag style, like the Kate version. So next, I actually have a bag on my wish list from this category and this the Crescent Silhouettes. I need to do an updated wish list because it has changed so much since I have, you know, cut a lot of luxury spending. I might do that. Let me know if y'all are interested. So the Crescent shapes are like the exaggerated hobo, but they slouch in the middle. Y'all know I love that slouch. I have the Team Jody, which slightly slouched, but I feel like the small Jody slouches more. So that bag could be included in this category. They have this Ula Johnson bag, which is cute. Chloe which actually is on my wish list. So when I first started collecting, or uh, buying design, collecting, let's be honest, designer bags, Chloe's one of those brands I really went to because I love them, they were attainable. There are a ton of people back then that had them too, which I didn't necessarily like, but I still really like Chloe. I mean, I still love the bags. They are underrated, they are high quality. They go and sell, them, which is always great. Well, they have this mini bracelet bag. It's absolutely beautiful. Mini bracelet bag comes in different colors. I'm waiting patiently for this bag to come out in different colors, like more. I don't know if they will because they don't tend to expand their range of colors. They just move on to a new bag, which is cool. But I just really like this. It's, it's cute. 
you could wear it in the crook of your arm like a as a bracelet you can wear it longer strap you know i just really love the vibes that this gives it's beautiful and if you don't like that one they have low the they squeeze bag which is another example they have coperni free people made well Tory Burch, the Polin, Numero D, tons of different options, okay? Mango again. Next, special straps. So these are exaggerated straps on bags. I don't think I own anything like this either. No, I don't. So I have a bag from this category on my wish list as well. The Alaya Latako. I'm not influenced by it. It's not the reason I want it. I really love the shape of this bag. I love the longer straps. I love the shape. I'm waiting on more colors. There's this gorgeous blue in the Latako. That's gorgeous. I'm also undecided on whether I want the small or the medium. I know, I know. Y'all are gonna tell me you don't like big bags. You're not gonna be happy with the medium, but I kind of like the medium. I'm starting to be more open to bigger bags. So I don't necessarily mind the bigger one, but I just want different colors. But with the special straps, they can be long. They can be exaggerated. They can have ties, nuts, like the Reformation one, the Luca bow bag on here, the sardine bag, even from Bottega Veneta, the JW pie or pay, or La Weave handbag, which I've seen everywhere. And you're knocking out two trends with one, with the one that they're featuring in the article. Is in a gorgeous dark cherry color. Stunning. Also, if you're new to the channel, I'm Candace of Glamlux Mama. You're a go to for colorful, edgy, sporty, chic, fashion inspo, and all things luxury. If you like stuff like that, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. So, next we have bag charms. This was also trending last season. I'm not a fan. I don't know. I just think it's a little bit too. I don't want to say childish because grown folks do this, okay? And I don't want to offend anybody. I just don't like it. I'm going to leave it at that. I just think, I don't know. It's a little too much for me. And I'm not really a fan. But hey, kudos to you if you like bag charms. This is the season for you, honey. Okay? So let me know if you agree with these bag trends. If you want me to do anything specific for Fallout, let me know in the comments. Happy to do that as well. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And also check this video out if you missed it. Talk soon.